My vertebrae exploded. I had very intense surgery, a lot of pain. I have now a lot of metal in my back. And then at 19, I started developing very, very intense mental health problems after the surgery. Mm -hmm. Depression, anxiety, dissociation. If I looked at myself in the mirror, I would have a panic attack. I Every night when I was in bed about to go to sleep, I thought I was going to die during the night. I mean, I was not okay. I was really not okay. And I realized my gosh, if I don't have my health, nothing more is more important. Nothing else is more important. So I went on a quest to try to understand my body. And at that time, no clue about glucose. I was just like, how does this work? Like, how, how do I fix myself? I was just completely lost. I love and that. How does this work? Yeah. I was like, what is this? What is this machine? Like, I'm, I'm in this, we're in this container, right? And we have no idea how it works. We have no, well, you could find out a lot of stuff if you studied it, but really even today, you know, even scientists don't understand at all how this works. And we are passengers of this vessel and we're both the pilot and the passenger. We have to navigate and try to figure out how to operate it and what to give to it. And we also are a victim of any consequences and symptoms. So that's how I felt, Maria. I felt just lost, completely, completely lost in the dark. So I thought, okay, let me try to understand my body. Uh, and that's when I went to Georgetown. So I was finishing a undergrad degree in mathematics in London. And then I went to Georgetown to study biochemistry to get some basics about how the human body functions. Didn't really get any answers there about how to fix my mental health, but it got me you know, interested. So then I thought, okay, maybe DNA is the solution. Maybe if I understand my DNA, I'm gonna be able to fix my brain. So I go to California, I work in Silicon Valley in genetics for five years, and I'm very disappointed because I find out that your DNA is not that helpful. Your DNA does not tell you what you need to do to feel good when you wake up in the morning. Hmm. It can give you a little bit of an idea of what disease you may or may not develop in the future, but it stops there. It's not that helpful. So I was quite disheartened. This was 10 years after my accident. I was just like, okay, I, I have nowhere to go. I don't know what to do. I don't even have a single clue. And I still had these episodes. And then I really believe in the universe helping us. At the company I was working, they decided to start a pilot experiment where five employees could wear a glucose monitor. So the devices you put on the back of your arm if you have yeah. diabetes. And I don't know why, Maria, but I felt like I wanted to try. So I raised my hand. I'll be like, I'll try, I'll try. And it completely changed my life because what I saw with this device that measures continuously your blood sugar levels, I started seeing that the days where my blood sugar or my glucose levels were the most irregular. So when they went up really high, down, and blah, 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 like a roller coaster, my mental health was worse. Mm 